Superman means the world to me. Um, literally the first uh, fantasy action adventure character I've ever, ever, first thing I've ever known. My mom told me the story that she used to play the first Superman movie, the Christopher Reeve movie, to get me to fall asleep as a, as a small child. So I've literally, my whole life, I have gone to bed knowing the world was going to be okay because Superman was out there. Um, I, I, I absolutely love Superman. Superman means the world to me as a character. Um, you know, I still read action comics every month. It's one of the few books I, I get every month um, from my local comic book store. Uh, and... Superman just means the world to me. Uh, I grew up watching the uh, Flasher, Flasher animated shorts. Um, you know, uh, that's a, that 1940s version of Superman is actually one of my favorites. Um, that Flasher animation that, you know, just... Gee golly, Lois, you know, like, I, I love that version. The George Reeves version, I absolutely love. Um, you know, Christopher Reeves. Every Everyone who's played the character um, has done the character justice. Uh, and it, it, it it's a beautiful character. It's, you know... I'm of an age where, you know, I got to grow up watching George Reeves in reruns and then grew up with the Christopher Reeves films, uh, especially Superman 4. For some reason, um, we had on VHS the first Superman movie and then we had number four, um... I, I wasn't even... I was in college by the time I finally saw Superman 3. But I had seen Superman 4 a, a hundred and some odd times. That fight on the moon and... and yeah. Uh, I, I love me some Superman 4. Nuclear Man is a character that just lives in me. In, in my head rent free. Um, <clears throat> but... Uh, also growing up in the nineties, I had the adventures of, uh, Lois and Clark, you know, um, show was for its time really well done. And then as I entered high school, Smallville, Smallville started my second year of high school and I'm not exaggerating when I say it was an event, we would, we would watch, uh, you, you would watch Smallville. You would turn to channel five just a few minutes before. So you got the end of Gilmore girls accidentally. Cause you were trying to, you know, make sure you were ready for Smallville. Um, there is not a geek my age who, who did not watch the end of every episode of Gilmore girls waiting for Smallville to, to come on. So you, you would, you would, uh, catch the end of, of Lorelai and, and whatever was going on in their life. And then Smallville would come on. And for that 45 minutes, it was not only the most relatable version of Superman ever put to film, but being a high schooler at that time, it, it's this lovely um, time capsule to what it was like to be a high schooler at that time, dealing with all the high school issues, dealing with, all, but also that show used modern music. And so 
when you go back, it's this treasure trove of of the music of the era that is it just you know takes me back. It it really does. Um, and and Smallville means the world to me. But the second any every episode ended, you you'd get. Uh, all us nerds would hop on the phone and we, oh my god, did you see that? And did you, you catch the reference? And and he said JLA. He's uh, you know, Junior Lifeguard Association. But he was he was talking about Justice League and and all those Easter eggs. And we would, my friends would geek out for another hour after the show ended just on the phone. You know, those three, four-way calls of like, you know, oh my God, did you see this? Did you see that? Did you, you know, um, every episode of Smallville was an event. Um, and that show means the world to me. So, uh, any chance I get to, to paint Smallville or, or do a Smallville sketch, it's, it takes me right back um, to, to those days. And then the the guy who's currently playing Superman does a beautiful job um, on, on his current show, Clark and Lois, or Superman and Lois. Um, it, it's, you know, there's a super version of Superman for everybody. Uh, and that's what I tried to do by the, with these different sketches and different, uh, paintings was just, you know, Superman's for everybody. And, and, you know, it, I, I love this character deeply. It's one of the most important characters, uh, um, to ever impact my life. And uh, so just to spend a little time painting, you know, Christopher Reeves, I can't think of a better better way to, to spend an afternoon than, uh, than showcasing my love and affection for, for the Man of Steel, Man of Tomorrow, Superman. All Destiny comic books available through Amazon.com or through us directly.